Greetings and welcome to another video. Ah, uh, it's that time of year again. Time when spring begins to peek through the underbush of winter's hole. The time of year when rebirth brightens our daily lives and the sun visits us more. Wonderful, isn't it? You might just want to leave your computer to go outside to enjoy the calmness of nature after you finish this video. It's also that time of year where Linden Lab increases prices and special members of a certain status get a money saving gift. This time it goes to the Premium Plus members who own a region. For the rest of us, well, for all of us, we have the unfortunate fate of LL increasing the buy and sell fee of Linden Dollars. But without further ado, let's get into the article and break it down. This article was released yesterday, March the 6th. Infrastructure investment update, buy, sell, fee change, and land pricing effective March the 6th, 2023. So as you figure out, the day that they release this update is the day that these new changes take effect. So we've had no time to prepare. It's been a very busy and productive 2023 for Second Life and our team. It's hard at work to make Second Life even better. The past year has been has seen a several significant new features and improvements, and we have quite a few more in the works, such as the PBR viewer, Avatar customization ease, including inventory thumbnails, a new mesh starter avatar, new LSL functions that improve the quality of life for scripters, and yes, a world and avatar centered mobile first viewer. One of our goals is to make virtual land ever more accessible to empower our residents to create and build amazing virtual communities and experiences. That's why over the past five years, we've lowered land costs several times, slashed setup fees, and introduced initiatives to further help reduce land costs, such as introducing PLUS, lowering price of mainland for easier entry into mainland ownership, and making a homestead available for purchase with no restrictions for Premium PLUS members. In recognition of our upcoming 20th anniversary, we are making additional changes to land ownership to enable Second Life communities, great and small, dropping the monthly price of full regions by $20 for our 20th anniversary, effective immediately. Full regions are now 209 USD per month. Accepting Linden Dollars for land payments, a convenient new option for Premium Plus members. If you are a creator earning Lindens in World, now you won't have to sell on the Lindex to pay for your region. Then here is a chart recording the changes over the past recent years. This latest land price reduction increased development of Second Life features, improvements, and an unfortunate combination of worldwide economic factors, including inflation, all bring additional costs to our operations. Did y'all catch that? But basically, let's read that again, okay? This latest land price reduction, one, Increased development of Second Life features, that's two. Improvements, that's three. Improvements of what? And an unfortunate combination of worldwide economic factors, including inflation, that's four. All these four things all bring additional costs to our operations. So, to help offset that, They've raised the buy fee and the sell fee because one of the four reasons is because of the latest land price reduction. Y'all remember that? Yep. I did a video on that. So it is true. Whatever Linden Lab gives us, we all pay for it. We spent time considering ways to manage these costs to minimize the overall burden on our residents. 
We've decided to absorb absorb many of the costs and distribute some by making a change to Linden Dollar buy and sell fees. Effective today, we are changing Lindex fees as follows. Increasing the buy fee to 10% with a minimum fee of $1.49 USD and a maximum fee of $14.99 USD per transaction. Increasing the sale fee to 5%. We know that many community members may have questions about these changes, so please see the FAQ below for more information and context. Then further questions, join the conversation in our community forums, and they'll be discussing these changes and sharing more from our 2023 roadmap on a special edition of LabGab. You know, the show where the questions you send in are censored. Yeah, right. Stay tuned for a first look preview of the work we've been doing on mobile in the next few days, too. Let's look at these fee changes FAQ. Which types of land does the new process apply to? Full regions now cost 209 USD. Full regions with 30K upgrade cost 239 USD. Educational EDU prices are still 50% off. What about buy down, grandfather pricing, homesteads, open spaces, mainland? All other pricing is unchanged. However, we just recently rolled out a homestead benefit for premium plus and a mainland discount. How much land can I pay for in Linden dollars? How do I pay for land in Linden dollars? You can pay for up to one private region. Some restrictions apply. Those restrictions being that you have to be a current Premium Plus member and you have to own a region. In Linden Dollars, as long as you maintain a Premium Plus subscription, it gives you a link where you can see the full article. I will go over that. How will the fee changes impact the cost of my Linden Dollar purchases and sales? It depends on the size of your Linden Dollar purchase at each transaction. And then they demonstrate an example. So for example, smaller Linden Dollar purchases roughly equivalent to about 15 USD or less will see no change in cost as the $1.49 USD minimum charge is the equivalent to the cost of, an exist of the existing flat fee. For larger Linden Dollar purchases, approximately $149 or higher, the 10% fee will cap out at $14.99 maximum in a single transaction. Sale fees will always be at 5% per transaction, regardless of the size of the transaction. How will I know the exact transaction fee that I'm charged before I make the purchase? The transaction fee will be clearly visible at the point of sale on the Buy Linden page on the secondloft.com website. The image below shows you an example of where to see the transaction fee before the purchase transaction is completed. We all know this you'll see the transaction fee. So if, let's say, you buy more than $15 worth, then that will go up. Um, and it goes up uh, about $0.10 cents for every 20 Lindens. I did an experiment on this yesterday, so roughly about that. Also... For those of us that pay state and local taxes, do not forget to add those state and local taxes. You will see the 10% transaction fee auto-calculate as you increase or decrease the amount of Linden dollars you wish to purchase, as I've stated. Will the fee show up clearly on my transaction log or invoice? Yes. You'll get, it'll be um, itemized separately from the amount of currency you bought. When does the new fee rate take effect? The new fee rate is effective today, March the 6th, 2023, the same day we released this article, because we don't want you all buying up Lindens in order to save a couple of bucks. Nope, because that happened last time when they <laughs> increased the fee hike. <laughs> they gave us about a month 
and there was a lot of people buying up Lindens at the cheaper price before they increased the rate. Good times, good times, good times. Our support team stands ready to answer any questions you may have about these changes. Please log into your dashboard at supportsecondloft.com to contact us. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the land payments for land article that they linked. So this article is dedicated to the Linden Dollars for Land Beta Program. Once again, this is only for Premium Plus members who own a private region. Uh, this is a beta program. It will end September 2023. It talks about what is the Linden Dollars for Land Beta Program. The Linden Dollar for Land Beta Program is, the tri is a trial system to allow residents who own private regions to pay for their region's maintenance fee in Linden Dollars instead of using the automated U.S. dollar billing system. This program is launching March the 6th, 2023, which was yesterday, and is planned to run for at least six months until September the 6th, 2023. Residents interested in participating in the trial of this system must be a Premium Plus subscriber who owns at least one region. Now, they do say who owns at least one private region. If you own more, then you can only pay Linden dollars for your region for one. You can't pay for you can't pay for both of your regions with Linden dollars. You can only do it for one if you own more than one. Who can sign up? At this time, the Linden Dollar for the Land Beta Trial is available for Premium Plus membership subscribers who own a private region. And then it goes on and it tells you how to sign up. And I will have this link in the description below. So if you want to take advantage of that and you own at least one private region and you are a Premium Plus member, then, well, yeah, there's more information for you. I wanted to revisit something. Let's point out the good, the quote, the edit, edit. Let's point out the quote, the good, unquote, of what we've been given from Linden Lab over the past five years. They've lowered land cost. Great. They slashed setup fees. Great. And they introduced incentives to further help reduce land cost such as introducing the PLUS membership and lowering the price of mainland. These are good things, right? Okay. What is coming is the PBR viewer. It's a step up from materials and the textures. I'll do a separate video on that later. Avatar customization, including inventory thumbnails, so these are all good things that they that they say are coming, right? Okay, all these all these good things. And you know the latest land price reduction, uh, the increased development of second law features, and the improvements, right? All the good things. And then you know the worldwide economic factor. We're all struggling in the physical world, but all of these things bring additional cost to to our operations. So even the good things, the land price reduction, the increased development of, of second law features, improvements, so those bring additional costs to our operations. So perhaps, maybe, it might be better if we just stopped asking for good things. Just stop asking for it, people, and then they won't charge us more money. You know, the, the shiny new special effects or features that you would like to see, well, just don't. Because the more we ask, the more we pay. And even the things that we may not want, like this uh, PBR viewer, there's speculation that it could break things. So I don't know. But what I do know is that we're still logging on. If you're upset, you want to rant, and wail and, and, and scream that the sky is falling and you go right ahead. That's what the, uh, the community forum is for. And I will put a link 
for that in the description box below. There is a lot of people that are complaining, especially creators. Creators uh, apparently are on the poverty line and they're struggling to pay for their physical world life because of the prices that they have to pay. Maybe you shouldn't depend on an income from second life because not everybody can do it. Not everyone can be a top merchant or a top seller like the ones that we saw in the, 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 in the data in the Bonnie Bots video. The top merchants, the top sellers making thousands of USD a month. Well, you know, there you go. So there's that. And perhaps maybe this increase might make some people change their mind as to, do I really need that new thing, that latest thing that's at the sale event? Oh, well, I want to be the first one to blog about it. I want to be the first one to own it. Well, that, yeah, I'm just going to get it. It doesn't matter. I'll just put more money into Second Life. Young people need to realize you can't own everything at once. You can save up for one thing. You can save up for a couple of things. And just because it comes out at a sales event, Cosmopolitan or Fashmeet or any of the other ones, there's a high possibility that if you wait a couple of months, it's going to be on a weekend sale or it's going to be on a Black Friday sale. You need to be wise. Just because it's lending dollars doesn't mean that it's quote unquote fake. Even if you don't put your own money into Second Life, if you are a creator or if you're a frugal person like me, then it, it really pays off to be wise about your money, even in Second Life, because Lindens, they add up. They add up. I'm not harping on anyone in particular or a certain section of people. I did say the young people, but, well, they're young and I'm old and that's my right. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just giving unwanted advice because who wants to hear from an old lady? So there you go. Um, if you want to keep up with news or, you know, latest updates, be sure to check out the community tab of the channel if it doesn't affect you, that's great. If it does affect you, then well, just don't buy everything. Learn to be frugal. And you know what really helps a person be frugal? Learning how to build. Learning how to build and mod the things you already have. That'll save your money. And also, you know what it does? It makes you unique. Because somebody may see something you've modded or, you know, you took, you delinked and then relinked to something else. And go, wow, where did you buy that? Be like, nowhere. I put it together. I modded it. You'll feel better about yourself and your wallet. Mm, we'll love you for it. All righty, y'all. That's going to be it for me. I will see you in the next video. Bye.